Hey guys, it's Liz and we're flipping things with a little brick seek experiment today. So essentially, I have no idea how this is gonna go. <laughs> it could go awesome and it could be a total fail, which is kind of what I find is true of brick seek. Um, so what I'm gonna do is jump online right now, first thing in the morning, my kids just went off to school. I am going to screen record and go through searching through the deals on brick seek. And if I find anything that seems like it would be um, good for Amazon, I'm going to jump in the car and see if I can go find it. Um, sometimes I do awesome with BrickSeek and I find so much stuff. And sometimes I, it's a complete dud, like nothing. Either I don't find anything on BrickSeek or I don't find anything when I get to the store. So who knows how this is going to go. Let's cross our fingers because I need some Amazon inventory. Um, I've been very focused on eBay and I need to do a better job of balancing the two. But we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is jump into BrickSeek. I do get the daily email. Um, I just want to say I do the $9.99 premium plan per month. Um, I am trying that out for a few months. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue it. I'm still trying to figure out if I feel like I get better deals or I'm finding better stuff with the $9.99 version or the paid version versus what they offer for free. Um, but it's not a ton of money. Like $9.99, I feel like I can make up on one trip to the store. Um, but when I add in things like tactical arbitrage and keep up, like that stuff adds up over time. So I'm really trying to determine like what is the best use of my limited um, funds right now. So you can see I am in here in BrickSeek now. And I think I need to sign in. I do. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the members area and I'm going to search Markdown by store. Um, I like to check out Walmart first. One, because there's one really close to me. And two, I don't know, I find I do find good stuff at Walmart. I'm not a Walmart fan. I don't I don't shop there like I'm a Target girl. Um, but when it's for reselling, Walmart is definitely the best. So let's go into Walmart. And I am going to view the markdowns in the closest store to me, which is in Niagara Falls, New York. Um, I could jump in the river behind my house and just let the current take me for three or four miles and I would go over the falls. Kind of crazy. All right. So what we're going to go through now, my limitations is I sort of know what I am gated in and what I'm not gated in. If something's a phenomenal deal and I know it's something I'm gated in in Amazon, I may check it out and compare it to eBay. Um, but not always. So I'm just kind of kind of gonna scan through what I do um, and I actually learned this on a tutorial might have been the OA challenge I'm not sure um, but what I do and what I find the easiest is as I find items as I'm scrolling through I actually just will like right click and open a new tab and I'll do that with a bunch of them because it's sort of slow to jump from items and then back into the markdowns and find where you were. Um, so I open a bunch of tabs and then go through the items one by one if it looks like something that might be of value. So we've got Lego, Marvel superheroes. <laughs> So let's jump into these items and see if we find anything and um, kind of how they look. 
All right, so this is a Bob Marley series two count. Did I click on this because I was curious? So this, you can see, it shows it doesn't sell on Amazon. It was the Bob Marley that got me. I'm kind of curious, so I'm gonna just plug it into eBay because I'm curious. I just wanna see, um, you know, anything that seems sort of collectible, and I know that's not really collectible. Okay, so people are selling it for $7.95 plus shipping, but does the real question is, um, oops, does it actually, oh no, um, does it sell? Oh, I gotta go down here. I'm used to doing this on my phone. Um, so I wanna look at completed and sold. So one sold in August for $7.95 and there's a lot for sale. So, so that's a no, and that's okay. That's okay, worth it to check out. Um, these Paw Patrol socks, I thought might be selling on Amazon. It appears that they are not. Um, but I've got a former Paw Patrol fanatic. He is sort of over it lately, Trevor, um, which kind of makes me sad because he was really into it, and I know that means he's growing up. Um, all right, no exact matches. So nothing on the Paw Patrol, so I'm going to close that up. Black Web HDMI four-way splitter device. All right, so this looks like it's selling used on Amazon. Um, so you can scroll down on BrickSeek, and um, you can see it's showing that they have limited stock in Niagara Falls. Um out of stock a lot of other places but it's seven dollars so what i'm gonna do is grab the barcode actually jump into amazon seller central um, Okay, so there it is. It's ranked 861. I am able to sell it. So let's click on the item and go take a look. Um, all right, so I can sell this new. Not much happening on this Keepa chart, as you can see. Um, looks like it was selling for 20, list price. So it's 867 in satellite TV splitters. Um, there are some reviews and those are going up, which means it is selling. Um, but let's check buying options and see what we've got. So all you can do right now is buy it used. I imagine you can sell this, um, new for probably 20, between 20 and 30, if you're the only seller. Um, and we're able to get it um, for $7. So this is something I'm definitely gonna go see if I can find at the store. So I am going to actually view this on walmart.com. Um, so Walmart's telling me it is in stock. It says there's one left. Um, so am I signed in on Walmart? Okay, let's see. All right, so that's a yes, the black web. We're gonna go look for that. Sylvania flush mount. So this is selling for $19.92 and it looks like it's selling on Amazon for $19.92. So this is a no. Fruit of the Loom, surprisingly, not selling on um, Amazon, it looks like, but let's see if it's selling on eBay. I do like to do both if I can. Um, all right, so these are selling on Amazon for quite a bit more. Um, that is completed and sold. Sold for 25, sold for 31, and sold for 29. So let's 
take this out and see. I mean, that's not a ton for sales. So you know what? That to me would also be worth it to go search for. It says there are two to three of them in stock. Um, I'm going to view it on Walmart. And... Walmart's not showing that same price. You sometimes price for in-store. It's not showing a price. That's fine. All right, so we're actually going to go check that out as well. That seems worth it to me, so I'm going to keep that open. Um, Fallout 76, I know for sure. I was going to check um, eBay on, but it looks like it's selling used on Amazon for $9.96, so I don't imagine this is going to be great but let's check it can't hurt um all right so here's fallout 76 i want to see sold 8.99 i mean it's selling i want to look at new so it looks like it's selling for around 9.99 and Walmart has it for $2.50. Now, if that is the case, I'm going to grab them. Um, so I'm going to keep that open as well. And that is kind of it for that first page. Um, I am going to jump into the second page. And I'll probably like... Maybe I will fast forward as I'm searching through and then I'll just do the ones I'm stopping on. So let me jump into the second page. So we've got, what I want to do is go to Walmart with a list of things that I'm looking for because typically I don't find everything. Um... We are going to jump into these items and see if there's anything worthwhile. This one is selling for $2. It's in stock and it shows it's selling on Amazon for $9. Not sure if I can sell this, but I'll take a look. Oops. Um, copy that. apply to sell so i am limited on that they're considering it a toy um i just clicked on this one because it's like my kid's favorite and it's five dollars and i don't know looks like it's selling on amazon for 750 so i'm just i'm gonna skip it um you know me and the pioneer woman <laughs> i always gotta check it uh let's see it's weird because when I started, I, I listed a ton of Pioneer Woman stuff. And lately, some of that's been coming up. Um, so I can sell this. And it's ranked 137,000, which is not bad. Um, it's a little cute mini clamp jar. Looks like new from 1025. So let's, well, let's look at the Keepa chart, which is down here. So it looks like it's a new item on Amazon. So there's not a lot of data, but the offers are, I mean... The, I'm sorry, I need to go. New offer. There's a lot of offers. The offers are going up, meaning there's a lot of sellers jumping on. Um, and the price looks like has tanked. How much was this again? 
I'll probably, you know what, I'll probably take a look. If it's there at the store, I might buy a few, but there's not a lot of money to be made. At ten fifty, make a few bucks. Is that enough though? Not really. All right, I wasn't even sure what this is, um, so I clicked on it, but it looks like it's not selling anywhere online. Um, I actually picked these up for my son when I was at Walmart the other day. And they were eight dollars and now they're four i'm kind of mad um but they had plenty of them so i'm curious if i can sell them he's enjoying them they work good for him so i know it's a decent product um so i'll jump in here and see if we're able to sell this all right so it's ranked twenty five thousand. i can sell it new oh apply to sell um, I can sell it collectible. I need approval to list in this brand. Okay, so I can't sell it on Amazon, which kind of sucks. Um, but let's see if I can sell it on eBay. Or I know I can sell it on eBay, but is it selling on eBay? Or is everyone at every Walmart getting the same deal? Um, is this sold? Let me add sold. $12.99, this guy sold five of them, $12.99, $16. All right, so I'll be honest. Um, this is selling, and at four bucks, I'll take everything that they have. It's definitely selling. There's a lot of them sold. Um, so I will buy these at Walmart, This is, and I know exactly where they are, if they're still there. Um, all right, so I'm going to keep that one open. Scooby-Doo. I only looked at this because the MSRP was so high, but it looks like it's selling for the same on Amazon. The line, so that's a no. This is another um, Pioneer Woman piece and some vintage floral measuring bowls. I don't know. We'll go check it. Check it out. Um, all right, so I can sell this. It's ranked 220,000, which is not the greatest. Um, they are very cute, actually. I'm not gonna lie, I like these. Um, probably because I live with all boys and I just need some girly stuff around here. But these are very cute. Um, you can see the, there's reviews coming in. So we know they're selling. There's not really a, a buy box. There's definitely not a buy box. So let's see what our buying options are. It doesn't look like it's selling like crazy. So right now, $60. Okay, so whoever's selling this is not allowed to sell it new. So they're selling it collectible. Um, but I think I could sell it for $35.99 new. And it is $2.25. And it looks like they've got plenty at my Walmart. So if I can find these and grab them, I'm going to. Um, I think that's a good find. So basically now I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, six things that I'm going to go look and see if I can find at Walmart. Um, so that's what we'll do next is we'll go film at Walmart. I am really bad at filming in public places. Like, I don't know. I feel weird. So that might work. That might not work. Let's see if we can find this. Let's cross our fingers. I also have to get, um, a frame. I am making a little present for my husband. You know, I'm on a budget. Um, and when the boys were little, little, I had them all hold like a D and A and a D and have their photos together. And now I'm going to do it with them all big. I hope he likes it. <laughs> Your girl's on a budget. So let's go to Walmart. Cross your fingers. Okay, guys, I'm outside of Walmart. I actually had to restart this video because I had my son's new song he just released playing in the background. And then I realized I'd probably get a copyright ding for playing my own kid's song on YouTube, which is funny. I'll link it. I'll link the song in the comments if you want to check it out because it's amazing and I love it. 
All right, so I'm outside Walmart. I am very bad at filming in person, but I'm going to do my best. And we'll see how this goes. I don't know. We'll see. Um, in the... In the men's boxers on, and I'm not finding the Food of the Loom 10 pack of boxers, which I think means they're gone. But I tried. <laughs> Thing here, but my Walmart has the Pioneer Woman stuff like in all different spots. Nothing here. I'm gonna try the clearance section. All right, this could be it. Mini casserole, that's so cute. No. Nest jingles. Wait. This could be them. No, these are too big. Okay, I'm back. We had some sort of successes. We had some fails, which is kind of how it always goes with BrickSeek for me. Um, I'm never, even the stuff that shows in stock, I'm never able to find completely. So let me show you what I got and I'll tell you what I couldn't find. Um, I found two of the Skull Candy, um, oops, the Skull Candy um, headphones. They are Bluetooth, eight hour battery life. Um, they had two of them. They were on sale for $4. Um, I just the other day was in there with Matthew and I actually bought him a pair of these and they were $8, so score. Um, I took the last two that they had. They had several more when I was there the other day, but I took the last two they had. Um, I'll show it over here. These are actually selling on eBay for around, they're averaging like the sold comps are around $16. Um, so $4 into 16 is good for me. So I have two of those. Um, I got three of the PS4 Fallout 76, which I've never heard of. Um, and they were 250. And these are selling on eBay for around eight-ish, put it up here. Um, so, you know, I mean, it's a profit. There's a lot of them selling, it seems like, when I scroll through, so I feel good about moving these, especially with the holidays coming up. Um, I found these computer games. I very rarely look at computer games, but when they're marked 50 cents, I'm like, well, maybe I'll scan it. So I have two that are called Luxor King's Collection and three Wonder Trilogy. I think the Wonder Trilogies are going for six to eight dollars on eBay and the Luxor is around the same, I think. So again, um, not bad, right? They were only 50 cents. I mean, all of these was only $2.50 total. And I can't complain about 50 cents on an item. Um, things I couldn't find, I searched everywhere for the Pioneer Woman stuff. The way my Walmart has it set up, the Pioneer Woman brand is all over the place, right? So there's different sections all over. I kind of know where they all are because I have shopped for Pioneer Woman before. I couldn't find any of those items. I even checked this specific clearance aisle. So that was a dud, which was kind of a letdown because I was sort of hoping I could find those. Mm. I couldn't find that four-way uh, HDMI or whatever it was. I couldn't find that. Um, and there was something else. Oh, well, the Hanes, obviously. They didn't have them in the men's, which is what I was looking for. So listen, did I do great? No, I mean, right, I didn't come home with hundreds of dollars in profit, but eight, six, seven, eight, eight. Call that 18. We're probably close to 50 or $60 in profit. I think I was in Walmart for a total of 
45 minutes, maybe an hour at most, but that is because I had to pick up some other things. I needed a frame and some stuff um, for my husband's birthday. So there was, you know, it wasn't solely this, um, but for 45 minutes and a little bit of time on BrickSeek this morning, I can't complain. My thoughts on BrickSeek are this, it's not perfect. Um, and no matter what store you're shopping in, sometimes they show stuff in stock and it's not. And sometimes they show no stock on something and they actually have it. So you can never be sure. Unfortunately, you have to go into the store and like search for it yourself. I have found some great items that have done very well for me. Um, and I have times when I go with a list of stuff that I have found on BrickSeek and I can't find one item in the store. I'll go to multiple stores and I can't find one of those items. So it's hit or miss in terms of if you can actually find the deals, but sort of cluing you into like very recent what's dropped in price, at least in your local area, it's it's really good. I do the $9.99 version and to me it's worth it. I'm, you know, I, I probably don't use it as much as I should. I used to in the summer before the kids were back in school and we had like Zoom calls and all the craziness. Um, every single morning I would go in and I would search through BrickSeek and I would make a list and, um, and go. If there was anything worth it, go and find it. And I was definitely sourcing a lot more for Amazon at that point. And I think it was solely because of BrickSeek. At this point, I'm struggling just to find time um, because I'm trying to balance all of this. Plus, you know, I'm a teacher now. Um, I don't know if you guys knew that. I am a teacher. I'm a wine drinking, sometimes potty mouthed teacher. I'm not great at it, but it's my new career for the foreseeable future. <laughs> so got to fit that in and that has to take priority. Obviously the kids needs have to take priority. So I don't get to do this as much, but doing it today kind of reminded me that it's, it is really beneficial. And, um, every day there's new stuff being marked down. I know because I was in Walmart like two days ago and these headphones were marked down to $8. And then by today they were marked down to four. And that's how it works at Walmart. You've got to be able to catch it when it's dropping. Um, and the more you're in there, the more you start to sort of recognize where things are going on clearance and where they're dropping in price. One interesting thing I wanted to note for anyone that followed me on my, um, what I sold on Amazon in my first month video, I mentioned the lip balms, like the Pepsi flavored and the candy flavored, and I was really excited about those. And I went back to replenish those, and I am on Gated and Topicals, and suddenly I those are restricted to me. So I'm not sure if Taste Beauty got a hold of the fact that a third-party sellers were selling these, um, but I am now restricted for the brand, not for the category, but for the brand, which was sort of a bummer because that was such an easy item to just run in and grab what they had. But what are you gonna do, right? This is this is Amazon FBA. It is like a roller coaster. <laughs> Amazon in general is a roller coaster. Um, I'll do a video tomorrow updating you on affiliate marketing, which <sighs> we'll talk about it. We'll talk tomorrow. Um, all right, I hope this was helpful. And I'm not sure if it was, but if you're, if you have questions or if you're interested in learning more about BrickSeek, like totally put them in the comments. I'd love to help you. I have been using it. Um, I do find it worth $9.99 a month to do that paid version. Um, but I would, you know, if you have questions and I can answer them, I'd be happy to. And I hope everyone's having a beautiful day and I will talk to you guys later. Be good to each other. Bye.